Let's take a look at command line basics. Double quoted strings. Many times when passing arguments to a command, it is desirable for a string containing spaces to be treated by bash as a single token. As we previously discussed, one mechanism for obtaining this behavior is to escape the relevant space characters using the backslash character. Here, we have created a file with literal spaces in the file name. An alternative method to using escaped spaces is to use double quoted strings to enclose the entire file name. By first quoting the string myfirstfile.txt, Bash treats this entire string as a single token. Within double quotes, some characters which normally have special significance to Bash are treated as normal characters without special meaning. Normally, the ampersand character has special meaning to bash. Inside the quotes, that special meaning is lost. Wildcard wild card characters, including the star, the tilde character, curly braces, will all be treated as ordinary text and not special characters. Within double quotes, therefore, the following operations are suppressed. Word splitting, path name expansion, tilde expansion, and brace expansion. Let's observe the effects of double quotes in some commands. In this command, the argument to echo includes extra spaces between two of the words. The output of echo does not have these extra spaces between the word a and the word test. This is because without double quotes, space is interpreted as a special character for the purposes of performing word splitting, and the extra spaces are simply ignored. If we put this argument in double quotes, the spaces within the string are no longer interpreted as special characters. Rather, the entire quoted string is treated as a single token for the purposes of word splitting. All of these spaces remain in the output as ordinary text. Let's try a command where double quotes will suppress expansions.
we observe in these examples that when the tilde is used outside of double quotes, the tilde expands to the full path name of the current user. We also observe that when the star wildcard character is used outside quotes, it is expanded here to bar and here to foo. However, when the same string is enclosed within double quotes, the tilde expansion and the wildcard expansion are both suppressed. The tilde is treated simply as a tilde character. The star character is treated simply as a star character. Let's look at another example. Here, we observe brace expansion in action. The preamble color, followed by red or green or blue. Color red, color green, color blue. This is the result of the expansion. When we enclose this same string in double quotes, the brace expansion does not take place, and the curly braces are treated simply as literal curly brace characters. There are other special characters that retain their special meaning inside double quotes. These exceptions include the dollar sign character, curly braces when, with, when used with the dollar sign character, single parentheses when used with the dollar sign character, double parentheses when used with the dollar sign character, back ticks, and the backslash character when used to escape these other special characters. This allows the following operations to be carried out within double quotes. Parameter expansion using the dollar sign, arithmetic expansion, using the dollar sign in parentheses, and command substitution. Let's try a command that is not affected by these double quotes. This command contains two examples of parameter substitution, here using a dollar sign and curly braces, and here using simply a dollar sign. The result of that expansion is observed here for this first case, where the variable user is replaced with its value, lane s, which is the name of the current user. And again, the variable user is replaced with the value of that variable, lane s. Here, arithmetic expansion is performed. The dollar sign double parentheses indicates that arithmetic expansion will be performed. The arithmetic expression 2 plus 2 is replaced with the result of that arithmetic operation, the integer 4. 
And finally, command substitution. The command cal is run, and the output is substituted for this expression here. All of these operations expanded as expected, despite being within double quotes. Parameter expansion gives us the value of the variable named user. Arithmetic expansion calculated the result of 2 plus 2. And command substitution has displayed the output of the command cal.